Outer Rakas Nar. This place just seems so out of place for like this area of the game. It's like final dungeon feel. Is there warps in this place? No. This place is goddamn massive though. The lady we're looking for, or dude, I don't know who it is. It's on N7. Wait, did I? They must have been right by the entrance then. Just realized I went too far. Oh, I had to say at the entrance, whoops. I need two ancestral cloths, which I should have. Yeah, I got it, okay. Hello, Lorraine, Miss Scholar, all by yourself. My name is uh, Lorraine. I visit ruins all around Vanadil in pursuit of ancient knowledge. Raz, kiss. Kaznar is possibly overflowing with all the manner of shadows. If we don't keep their numbers under control, they might spill out into the wildlands. If you, they were just feral fiends, I'd say throw a caution to the wind and call them right now, but since there's some greater presence guiding them. I advise you to take care of the mystical barriers online this place should you decide to take the beast on. Those doors have a mind of their own and are apt to trap you within the labyrinth. It's as if the walls themselves are alive, with energies pulsing through the cracks like the blood in our veins. And those energies are no ordinary magic. <clears throat> You try to rend them to tatters with a great axe, but the only thing to splinter would be its hilt. If your goal is to colonize this land, then you'll need to find a way to deal with such obstacles. I'll do a little bit of experimentation to see if I can find anything. By I, I mean we. I would expect no less. If you find something that traces of arcane energies, come back to me. Perhaps I can learn more about its form and function. With any luck, I'll be able to fashion a pattern that will turn their energies to our benefit. What's a pain? A pain is a magical <clears throat> apparatus that converts silical magic into simple formulas. Leave the details to me for you, a grasp of the basics will suffice. First things first, find something with remnants of this energy and bring it back here. Then we can get back to work. I would venture two squares of ancestral cloth should suffice. If I'm right, the shadows wandering about the inner court should have them on them. Alright. Excellent, the two of us will make the perfect team. Welcome back, I trust you found the squares of ancestral cloth. There you go. Aha, so this is how it functions. I probably explain that magic course of the cracks like blood through our veins. Did we find a way to reverse the flow? Of course, it's all just theory. We won't know until we actually try it. My professor always told me, to know is to act. Knowledge is nothing until you put it in practice. Let me do prepare the pad and use the sigils you have brought me. Just give me a moment. Splendid. This should assist you in getting rid of the pesky magic impeding your progress. Or impeding your progress. Come with me to the lower levels and we will test it out together. I'll bring along a silvery plate, which will enable us to operate this transit device, shall we? Sure. Show me what I have to fight. The progress. Even though we're not doing anything in this area yet. Babe, at least the last survival skills out the way. Store is the one that has been giving me problems. If it doesn't work, then we won't be able to figure out how the door operates, which leads us to a terrible leap of unknowns. Steal yourself for action. Hmm. I suppose I'd accomplish something, but we're not done yet. Let me just fiddle with. Get ready. I'm going to open it. So then, open it. Huh? Open up, you piece of... Alright, she's got an anger problem. <laughs> I like how she hurt herself. 
But at least we reverse the magic. All you have to do is give it a couple of good bashes, and that should break it right off its hinges. But you're a pioneer, right? So what's little blood? I, on the other hand, am much more delicate. Let me put my handiwork to test and make you a pain of your own. Well then. That's my chat. Going ape shit. Just like refreshing itself. So that's the last survival skill, so forget all that, all that shit. Alright. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Let's warp out of here. Do I really wanna go to that crystal? I mean, I got the time, so why not? Sell the weights. Are you. Oh, I forgot. I don't have window wear on. I can't warp out like that. I did the old fashioned way. Actually, while I'm here, I might as well do this before the day changes. Uh, fuck, what was it called? This one. crystal now I mean, it wasn't that far I could get in and I can support back here yeah I might as well All right, um, give me drifts We should be able to get everywhere we need to quickly now on the world. I'm gonna go to Eastern and then somebody we talk to. It hasn't really the matter. I gotta. Let's go here. By the castle gates, I'm gonna get Ingrid's trust from them. Uh, where's. 
warp around here somewhere. There it is. You're gonna take me to the castle gates. We're looking for a Rigo Bearton. J7. So he's way the hell up there. I see you. Oh, we've talked to her before. The Shavaki Edifice is one of the many assets, blah, blah, blah. This isn't going to be what I want to talk to you about. Wait. Do I have Ray Trust already? Maybe I do. Oh, I do. Whoops. Well, never mind. Alright, back to the Pioneers Coalition. To talk to our boy, Level. I might as well just... I could run there, but... I don't feel like it. I mean, we have time we need to kill still. Okay, is that the right place? No. I'll get ready to talk to him and we'll I wait like the minute for the day to pass and we'll let my dogs outside. Alright, back in one minute.
All right, new day. Let's uh, let's go. <laughs> Someone's happy. Huh, so what if I'm minding my own business playing this the nose harp? You wanna fight about it? You wanna fight about it? Ready and raring. Kick your ass, level. Huh, forget about it. I'm not gonna let myself end up just another bushwhacked in your pioneering conquest. Well, I know why I'm so happy. Let's just say even someone like me who shovels loose bureaucratic manure all day has occasion to get excited. You know how everyone was worried about Arcella's sudden disappearance, right? But maybe you know whether this Whopper's actually got some weight behind it or not. They say Arcella was spirited away by a demonic varmint. What, well, what do you think? Could it actually be true? Um, try to laugh dismissively. <laughs> Yikes, that would you call a laugh? It sounds like a raptor maiden call. I have to brace myself for a second. Wait, what were we talking about? Success. Well, the important thing is that princess is as snug as a bug in a rug once again. Speaking of which, she's been moseying on, on into our humble establishment quite often ever since she returned. With Ignis's illness eating away at his capability to lead, seeing her sweet face has been a breath of fresh air to the pioneering initiative. Colonization has been marching along to the tune of progress we pioneers coalition member members get to gaze upon Arcella's radiant beauty almost every day. It's enough to move you to song. Oh come on, I thought you took a joke. Either way, that's all that's not all her returns blessed us with. I'm not sure why, but even those curmudgeons in the order of Weatherspoon have stopped flapping their gums over the colonization issue. Probably work without getting a sermon about the Fander King's last words. Come to think of it, I bumped into Ingrid from that very order the other day. She gave me the dirtiest look I've ever seen in my life when I mentioned your name. You'd have thought I'd spat in the face of the goddess or something. I mean, you think, you know, she'd be happy, you know. We saved her life. When the high seas happen, we need to wait. Maybe it's best not to pry. I will say though, Scuttlebutt has it that exorcists no longer make patrols into the jungle. Could be that you call upon some unholy powers to manipulate them into you. Level. Less shirking, more working. Le Leathery Lee. You can be sure I'll tan your hide if you call me that again, Runt. Whoopsie, did I say that out loud? I guess I'll have to tell the others we can't use it anymore. This fucking guy. What was that? Uh, look at the time. So much to do, such a tight schedule. I Best put my nose back to the grindstone. <laughs> Level, I never knew you were so devoted to performing well. What? Oh, um, I mean, you can't judge a book by its cover, Master Longabo. Maester Longabo. If you, if that's the case, then why don't you take a page out of my book and kiss your next day off goodbye? What? No! I never know if he's playing cat and mouse with me or if he's really that dumb. So, what happened, that's right. I think he's just that dumb. So what happened, that's right, I have a request. You see, we've just heard that a problem has arisen within the Quarriers Coalition. Even though it may turn out to be posed not only the tiniest of threats to colonization, we must walk like a cat on eggs. Now that the voice of opposition has finally gone silent, we can't afford to jeopardize the strides we've made. Failure is not an option here. That's why I need you to go to the Quarriers Coalition to find the source of this trouble. Will you do that for me? No problem. Thank you. Hopefully we can track down the snap this problem's neck in two before it causes us any harm. Happy hunting, that's right. Alright, to the Quarriers Coalition we go. The fast way. Is it in the east? Um, why am I tripping? Coalition. Well, I guess there is technically, or close enough to it, just doesn't tell you it. It's probably by the fountain. 
Could have warped there, but I already backed out of the screen. I didn't feel like going back in. I don't think we've ever been in here. I want to talk to this guy, Kiplig. Damn me to the darkness. Whoa, it's been such a long time since I last saw you, this, right? What's the matter? We've no place to store this massive cargo, or massive cargo destined for the Middlelands, that's what. No, the documents are even in order. It's probably the finance ma minister's fault, but still. You do know that the minister has to sign off on all national transactions, right? Of course, that doesn't apply to the private business deals, so you'd think the work would be manageable enough. However, every form has been littered with mistakes lately. It's plunged the warehouse in utter chaos, I tell you. Now that I mention it, I don't recall the time when Adeline's finances were in such a state. The Order of Volterris well, trains their members well. Every minister I've heard of has studied there, and they, they've all been absolute sorcerers with numbers. Perhaps, not the sneeze, perhaps the greatest of them is our current one, Melvian. Day Melcroy. <clears throat> now I lost my voice from sneezing. You can tell you hundreds of different accounts in the blink of an eye. All while eating a three-course breakfast. He needs but a brief glance over even a tower of documents to spot every single error. And only a few swift strokes of the quill to rectify them. What a smart guy. This makes his rash of obvious mistakes even more odd. We've not seen just mathematical errors, but whole chunks of information omitted. Thanks to the Ministry's sloppy work, our warehouse is overflowing with some materials and completely lacking others. It's physically impossible to fill all of our orders with what we have. Sorry to drag you into this, that's right, but could you possibly head to the waterfront and check, out, check on how things are going? I'm sure it's all topsy-turvy over there, but maybe you can find which end is up. Why is that guy making mistakes? That's the real question. To the waterfront we go. Um, we can warp there. Check. Something about door four or something. There we go. Port storage. J4. Uh, when this drudgery cease? What in the? What would a pioneer like you be doing in a cesspool of a warehouse? How's it going? Do you need to ask? Take a look around. It's a bedlam incarnate. We have a dearth of bare necessities and a surplus of luxury items. I cannot fathom how our city will be able to subsist if this ridiculousness continues any further. Gilberian, may I have a word with you? If you think I have the time to idle twaddle, to, for idle twaddle, you are sorely. My apologies, Lord Estino. You have no time for kissing up to people, Gilberian. I am here to inform you that you, we still do not have an adequate time frame for shipping you know what. You surely do not mean. Uh, this is enough to make me bash my head against the warehouse wall. Do you see what I mean, Pioneer? It's a veritable maelstrom here. Oh my. You would not happen to be that right by any chance, would you? I am. Have I heard of you? Of course I have. I would venture that there is an area person in Castle Adeline Who's not heard your name? And that goes from the rafters of wherever patrons and servants alike gather. What? This mealy mouthed guy is really that famous? Indeed he is. I assume that he is in thanks in large part to how much our cellage places in him. That hardly comes as a surprise though. If the tales of that's right's adventures in the Middle Lands are to be believed. While we are on the topic of introductions, allow me to make my own. My name is Estenu, and I am an aide of Melian de Melcroix. Sir Melvin has been preoccupied of late with other tasks, so I assumed his ministerial duties from the time being, so that's why it's all fucked up. This guy doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. The right mess of it you made, too. What? But I could argue with that statement. Yes, I admit that my capabilities spelled comparison to the ministers. In my defense, though, no being could be reviewed dozens of documents simultaneously as he does. 
is not hyperbolic, at least to suggest that Melvian de Lacroix is the single biggest reason for the nation's submission child's success. I've barely slept a wink in the past fortnight, yet have come nowhere near the replicating his efficiency. Huh? What was that? A land shiver? Yeah, I'm gonna start calling earthquakes land shivers. <laughs> it, it would stand to reason, seeing as how there have been spate of them recently. For certain, they are equally as disheartening as the current si distribution situation, if not more so. Last one is some force decimated a church of a nearby islet. I think building historic significance that stood for generations gone in an instant. Where would we ever find the ball with which to rebuild it? Although I suppose that is the least of your worries at this juncture, or our worries at this juncture. Which brings me to something I would like to discuss with you, that's right. To tell the truth, we have been saddled with tall order from your homeland. We request a contrivance that is oft made by our very own inventors' coalition. To craft it, we would need an F-skin, a lock of manticore hair, a buffalo horn, a square of manticore leather, and a square of buffalo leather. If I have any of those, it's giving me one of the manticore things. Nothing else comes to mind, at least. As you may have already surmised, the commodity in question is a bison jacket, made of the, from the finest of booking materials. It proved to be so popular that it found its way to the middle end generations prior. The coalition artisans that stitch them are so finely skilled that not even the most scrupulous, scrupulous, scrupulous of fashionistas can tell the difference between those jackets and the originals. Therefore, it is only natural that we are inundated, inundated with the orders of the, from the Middle Ends. My eyes are fucking giving up on me, and it's fucking so late. While we have measures in place to fulfill this hardly, hardy demand, we simply are not prepared for an order of this proportions. Oh, and by the way, yes, I now realize that I forgot to add one of those items I mentioned to the official list of required materials we said earlier. Please forgive me that oversight. Thanks to my father, we are now short on buffalo horns. Oh, well, the one thing I don't have, probably. Our client is breathing my, down my neck to buy a shipment, so I will likely need to ask other pioneers to lend their aid as well. That's right, I beseech you. Could you please find it in your heart of hearts to help rectify my mistake? Uh, I'm sure. Your largest truly knows no bounds. Once you procure one buffalo horn, I would ask that you bring it to Gilberian at the warehouse for safekeeping. May the heaven slide your way. Alright, so I need a buffalo horn. Let's go out of the auction house and hopefully they fucking have one. Do, 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 do. Oh, the mantra core that actually make you bring four of. Let's see where I can get one from just in case I can't buy one, which I'm sure I can. Where's the auction house? Ah, right here. It's a bone craft. Ten thousand, huh? Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Back to the waterfront. Specified item that they tell you to bring it depends on the level of your bond with Arcella. The buffalo horn indicating the lowest level. How would you have a higher bond with her? I don't understand. I'm assuming I'm just trading into the door. Weird. 
You have as much appreciated, that's right. With this in our hands, we can finally ship out. One last thing, could you inform the Corys Coalition that we will soon be able to provide them with their portion as well? Thank you so much. Alright. Back to the Corriers. And Kiplig. Wow. So we have this little back and forth thing that we're doing right now, and then we have to wait another game day. Ugh. What a nuisance. I really don't want to wait another game day. Speak of the demon, if it isn't that's right. We just received our allotment for the goods you helped procure. Sure, you've already been thanked, but allow me to do so too. Judging from what I gather, the waterfront must have been in pandemonium. So this is a fiasco, as was all due to the finance ministry's miscalculations. That's rather odd. Melvin, I'm just gonna say Melvin, mind is sharper than a spear, and his passion for the colonization's movement burns brighter than a wildfire. Someone as intelligent as he must see that any negative impact on trade with the Middlelands was diversely affected pioneering. Guess the rumors were true after all. What rumors? I can't attest to the veracity of these claims, but I heard that the majority of the finance minister's duties are now being handled by aides. However, even the list legion of assistants can't seem to match this bookkeeping prowess. How he's been able to stay afloat in the veritable sea of paperwork is beyond me, but it reaffirms just how extraordinary an individual he is. Anyway, my point is that my red hardships have befallen our sacred city in his absence. Such is the inevitable consequence of a whole organization relying on one person, I suppose. As they say, a bridge with one abutment can't help but collapse. Or at least that's what my mentor always said. In retrospect, perhaps I should be, be making light of the situation when the nation's fate is at stake. Wouldn't be prudent. What would be prudent, though, is appraising Master Maester Reginald of this possible development. They may still be just rumors, but our little talk just, just now has given me pause. One never can be too cautious with such sensitive information. Thanks for helping me make up my mind, that's right. Oh, and for helping down at the waterfront, too. Alright, now we're going to go back and talk to level. I'm just going to run there, who cares. I'm not even going to choke about Jig. What is going on with Melvian? Oops. Ah, oh, that's right. What exactly was brewing at the Courier's Coalition? I see. So the finance ministry has Nikon poops as big as ours, huh? You might not feel like you've done much, but trading is all about trust, and you've definitely earned this Courier's Coalition's. What's that? That's right, save the day once again? I knew from the very first moment I laid eyes on you that you were destined to become a walking legend. And the more I listen to your cater walling, the more I'm convinced you've never been anything but a walking travesty. Th th that's not true, right? That's right, right? Um, that was great. I flap in his lips. Ah, uh, say it's so. My only ally is now my enemy? Is that so? Um, oh, I gotta be nice about it? Alright. It's passionate about his job. Well, it's definitely a different breed of cat. One that won't even scratch what I tell him. I'm going to double his assignments. What? No! I always find the level's work improves when he has to fire under his tail. As always, I appreciate what you've done for us, that's right. This may not be much, but you're more than deserve it. I wonder what Melvin is preoccupying himself with, though. I don't know of anyone who needs to... needs his expertise right now. So now it's just at the zone away another game day, which I don't want to do. I mean, if we waited the game day, what we could do is do more records. 
Do I want to do that? I don't really feel like it right now. I mean, it is almost 1 a.m. too, so. If I'd play this earlier in the day, I definitely would be doing it. I guess I could. Let's get rid of it. The only reason I came out here is because it says we, for the next story mission, we have the zone. the right way? Yeah, it is. Um, eh, fuck it. So now he's done with the way the next game day. Talk to level again, we'll get another story mission, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Because by the time it gets the next game day, it's gonna be like another fucking 40 minutes. And I don't wanna wait for that. So, I'm gonna end it here. And then tomorrow, we will talk to level and continue the story. If we do get blocked tomorrow, then I will do more records. To, um, not records, sorry, Rhapsodies. That's what it is. More Rhapsodies of Enadiel. It's worth the game day. I just realized the shovel up here looks like a fucking penis. So, yeah. Good job. Anyways, that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please, YouTube, like, share, subscribe, Twitch. Give me a follow. I'll see you guys next time. Late.